Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going on with a part 2 of the Hive Mining OS. But before we begin, as always, please consider subscribing. Also turn on post notifications so you always know when I upload a new video. And also don't forget to like and share the videos because it would help me very much. So uh, before we begin, if you haven't already watched part 1, then you just go there, watch part 1, so um, you can be ready for the part 2, because uh, without the part 1, obviously you, can, uh, you cannot uh, begin with the part 2 of this series. And uh, after you watch part 1, basically what we need to do is go to the Hive Mining OS and open an account. And you can do so by either clicking on my link, on the video description because it would help me obviously but um, if you don't want to you can go directly to the uh, to the website of the hive mining uh, hive os dot farm and there we need to open a new account and to do so you uh, you go to the hive mining os uh, uh, web page and click on create new account and obviously in in here you need to uh, to fill all these fields in here it's uh, obviously it's easy to use but uh, in the end you have a promo code if you like to do so you can use my promo code Albanian blockchain which is in here you can copy this one and you can paste it in here and so uh, when you create your new account by using my promo code you will get $10 for th for free on your Hive Mining OS um, uh, account uh, obviously uh, I will get uh, something from you too so uh, uh, we can help each other out let's say so after you have created your new account then obviously you go to the hive mining OS uh, web page and go and sign in obviously I have already one account so I just go inside but obviously you must log in with your uh, with your username and password Obviously, when you enter for the first time, you will get nothing in here. Uh, I got these things because I have already uh, connected my rig with Hive Mining OS because obviously I need to try it first. And so um, keep that in mind that when you enter the first time, you won't get anything in here. And the first thing to do when you go to your account, or, it's, uh, or at least uh, the thing I do first, it's go to wallet and create a wallet. Here on the wallets page, uh, we must uh, create our wallet and obviously configure, uh, configure our mining uh, program which we are going to use to mine our favorite coins. For example, if you want to mine Ethereum, you have uh, to configure Claymore or any other miner uh, which you can, uh, or you want to mine Ethereum or Ethereum Classic or Zcash or any other coin. Uh, which you can uh, which you want to mine uh, obviously uh, even in here you won't have anything as you can see I have already two wallets in here uh, one for uh, ethereum classic and one for ethereum wallet but obviously if you want to for the first time you won't get anything and to create a wallet and configure uh, the claim or or any other miner that's uh, that's supported by hive mining OS it's uh, very easy um, it's um, you need to have just basic uh, knowledge on how to to configure a batch file it's almost the same thing uh, even uh, I consider this e even easier than configuring a batch file uh, so in here you have examples on how you can uh, you can um, configure your hive mining OS to mine a certain coin on a certain pool but obviously this is not uh, limited in here because you can choose another pool if you want for example you have uh, 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 um, you have uh, a configuration here to how to mine ethereum on uh, on the two miners uh, pool and you just click on there and you can see uh, how you can uh, configure your uh, your miner or let's say your program to mine with uh, with your rig with hive mining uh, os uh, for me i use uh, ethermine.org as pool for ethereum and ethereum classic and um, use other pools for other coins but obviously i will show you here uh, only uh, the way how you can configure your wallet so the first thing you need to do is take a look at 
the pool uh, which you want to use and the coin which you want to use so you just click there and you get um, and you get to see how you can configure your wallet um, so basically you just open a new window and then just copy uh, just copy the configuration from uh, from the example in here to your new wallet and basically you just go to new wallet in here and obviously the name you can choose whatever uh, name of the wallet you want for example I uh, I uh, write down ETC wallet for Ethereum Classic, ETH wallet and obviously for other coins Zcash wallet, uh, Bitcoin Gold wallet. It, this is the way I want to call my wallet. So so this is just the name. It doesn't matter uh, what you put in here. Uh, for the email uh, in this section, uh, you can use the uh, your email address if you use a pool that uses the email address to log in or to connect your miner. For example, Nanopool is one of them. So if you use Nanopool, you obviously you need to enter your email address, um, which you, you use on Nanopool um, to mine your favorite coins. Uh, then we go to the uh, to the wallet, to the actual wallet. Obviously, the e-wallet uh, are the wallets for Ethereum. So if you want to mine Ethereum, you enter your Ethereum address in here. I have one here. Obviously, if you want to mine Ethereum Classic, it's the same thing. You just enter your Ethereum address in here. I have one because I have already added uh, one. So you copy your Ethereum Classic or Ethereum uh, address in here and you are done. Uh, here you have the Zcash uh, uh, algorithm wallets, for example, for Zcash, as you can see, Z Classic, Bitcoin Gold, and other uh, and other coins like them. And uh, on the D wallet section uh, is the uh, here goes the wallet if you want to dual mine with uh, Claymore or any other program if uh, it supports it. Uh, let's say, for example, you want to mine Ethereum and Decred. You enter the Ethereum wallet up here, obviously, and you enter on the D wallet, you enter the um, uh, the secondary coin which you want to dual mine. For example, Decred, Saya, or uh, any other coin which you want to dual mine. But obviously, my, uh, my personal opinion is not to use dual mining because um, uh, from what you are spending in energy, obviously, but... Um, most of all uh, on the consumption of the video cards itself because the uh, because the video cards are very much uh, stressed when dual mining i think that uh, it's not worth it to use dual mining anyway if you want to do that you can do so with the uh, with hive mining os so this is the section when uh, it goes the uh, the second uh, uh, the second uh, the second address of the coin you want to dual mine uh, then in the next section, here you can see all the programs uh, which uh, we can use on Hive Mining OS to mine our coins. And basically there are uh, all the, the programs that we use today with Windows or any other system. And uh, you just click uh, on, the, on your favorite uh, miner uh, which you want to use. Uh, obviously I will choose uh, Claim or Dual Miner because this is the one uh, I use uh, always, even with Windows and any other, and um, obviously any other uh, system. Then we go to the important section, the ePools uh, uh, text template, which means that in here we add the string to, to configure our mining program. Or let's say in here we we add uh, the string that we use when you, when we configure a batch file on Windows, for example. And to mine uh, Ethereum or Ethereum Classic or, or any other Dagger Hashimoto um, coins, you have some, uh, if you click uh, on this sign in here, you have some examples. Uh, but uh, as I told you, you can use the examples from uh, the example wallets from the main page in here and just copy them. Uh, what uh, I want to do is, for example, if you use Nanopool, you just copy this string in here, copy, and then you paste it in here. And then if you want to use Ethereum on Nanopool on this port, this OK, wallet, uh, e-wallet, e uh, worker name, email and password obviously is uh, X. So for Nanopool uh, or for any other wallet, let's say you don't have to change anything else because the e-wallet is taken automatically by the program in here or on the wallet you, uh, you put it uh, in uh, before. Uh, then the worker name uh, obviously it's for uh, uh, from
from the rig that we were going to create and the email is from the the email that you inserted in here and password uh, obviously is x so in here you have the dual uh, coins which you can mine in dual mining which i told you before so you can choose the coin which you are going to dual mine then you can set the intensity from 0 to 100 for decred for example and um, in here goes the the template for the dual mining uh, for the dual uh, uh, mining coin or basically it's uh, it's the same thing as we do when we configure a batch file for dual uh, for dual mining where we have to enter the string for the uh, for the main coin ethereum or ethereum classic and then the string for the second coin or the second pool if you want to use the second pool and um, since i'm not going to use i will leave it blank here on the claymore config override we can use parameters like um, minus tt 65 for example to set the, the target temperature to 65 or to set the fans at 100 percent or uh, maybe to use um, uh, minus tt1 which i use minus tt1 so with this command you disable the the automatic control from claymore and in this way you can choose your own uh, your own fan speed so keep that in mind if you want to if you want to use uh, a certain speed for the fan you must to enter this parameter in here uh, because otherwise you won't be able to control the fan speed uh, otherwise uh, uh, meanwhile uh, it will be controlled automatically by claymore so uh, you can add this string or any other uh, parameters sorry or any other parameters which we can use for the claymore uh, exactly the same as we do in windows so th let's leave it blank for t uh, for for now and um, then we can uh, choose the version of the claymore which we are uh, which we want to use obviously the latest one but if you want you can choose an earlier version and an overclocking profile will uh, we will talk about this later so we can leave this blank and then you are done i hope this was clear this is how you create a wallet but uh, again then you just click ok and you are all done and your wallet will pop up in here uh, again you can click on the strings in here for the uh, for the pool and the coin which you want to use for example ethereum miner and you just copy obviously the name you can choose your own name obviously uh, in the wallet address you must enter your wallet address and you can just copy then the pool string in here and for dual mining obviously if you want to use that and uh, copy to the new wallet okay so uh, yeah as you can see in here i have created two wallet one for uh, ethereum classic wallet let me show you how i have done this etc wallet name here the wallet address of for ethereum classic in here claim or dual miner select it uh, as a program this is the string for ethereum classic uh, uh, for mining ethereum classic on ethermine.org uh, as i told you i use the minus tt one so i i can set my own fan speed and the rest as it is and for the ethereum wallet as you can see in here obviously the name of the wallet the wallet for ethereum in here claim or dual miner obviously the string for mining ethereum on ethermine.org uh, the same uh, parameter in here and uh, the rest as it is so this is how you create a wallet and then after you have created your wallet for the coin you want to mine the next step is to go to rigs and obviously again in here you won't have anything um, uh, you won't have a rig because you haven't created one so uh, the first thing we need to do is go to create a new rig and uh, in here you put the name of your rig whichever name you you like for example test rig let's do uh, the quantity of the cars that the rig have if you want to add this let's say for example six a description if you want to add a description or specific description for uh, so that you can identify which rig it is obviously you can choose your uh, your own uh, mining program i'm going to choose claim or miner then you can choose the wallets uh, which you have created and that is the reason why i told you i like to do the wallet first and then the rig uh, next 
but obviously if you do the rig first you can come back edit uh, edit uh, the rig and you can add the wallet that you added after the rig is the same thing but I like to do the wallets first so uh, when you create a rig you can uh, immediately select the wallet which you want to use with this rig let's say for example I want to use ether wallet which I have created and then you can generate a random password which we are going to use uh, which we are going to use in our rig to log in and to start mining with the Hive OS. And basically, you just click a random one. I don't know if you can create one, I haven't tried it, but let's do a random one in here and then just click add and boom, you're done. You have created a new rig. So now you are ready to mine. You have created a new account, you have logged in. You have created your wallets, which you want to mine the coins. And obviously, uh, you have added your own wallets to be able to get paid on your, uh, on your address. And then we have created our rig or our rigs, let's say. Now, to begin mining, we need, uh, if you remember for, uh, from, the, from, the, uh, from the first video that I made, at the end of the video, when Hive Mining OS opened, and it was ready to mine it um, it uh, was asking us for an id which is this one here here keep that in mind this one is the id we are going to enter on our rig and this here is the password which we are going to use to enter our mining rig so you just uh, <coughs> you just keep this uh, these two things in here these two parameters in here and then you just go to your rig enter your id this one here enter your password this one here and you just click enter and you are done yeah uh, let's end this episode uh, here because uh, it's getting too long as always uh, and yeah again don't forget to subscribe uh, uh, like and share the video um, also don't forget to use my link if you want to use hive mining os because it would uh, it would help me very much and um, yeah see you guys on the next one bye bye